going on guys? So right here behind me is the 2017 Audi A4. This is the car that my little brother Hussan got on eBay. Um, he paid 70,000 for this car. Now it is a salvage as well, like my car. It was flooded, but uh, pretty much almost brand new car. Only 19,000 miles on it. Very clean. Uh, they shipped it here from Miami, Florida. Uh, it took like about two weeks to get it delivered because I mean, we weren't in a rush, but it's finally here. We're excited. It's about to unload it. Um, and after that, we get to test drive and see what it is. We're planning on replace the grill and maybe lowering. Yep, so we think about swapping out the wheels as well as the wheels are pretty hideous. Actually, let's go take a look, see what size those wheels are. He's 17, so they're pretty small. Um, we're thinking about probably swapping to 19s, kind of like 19s. my Audi right there. Check this out. Check engine, no check engine. No check. It's a nice car. Cool. I like it. So before buying the car, my little brother did some research to find out where the car was originally from. We found out through Carfax that the car was from New Jersey. And we found out that it was declared total loss on September 25th, 2018. So uh, we started Googling and found out that on September 25th, 2018, there was flooding in New Jersey. So that was good news because that was uh, fresh water and not salt water. So the eBay dealer that sold us a car is named the Guaranteed Best Choice. I'm gonna have to say they offer the best warranty on eBay there is. 90 days or 4,500 miles, whichever comes first. Also provided us with templates that lasted over a month. That's right. Well, thank you. Check this out. So me and Vlad took it for a quick spin around the block just to see how it drives and we were really impressed. They handled really good in snow, drives very smooth, very comfortable. Alright guys, so we're here at the car wash. Um, we got the A4 here. It's super filthy on that trailer from Florida to Denver, so it was snowing rain all kinds of weather so definitely needs a car wash the weather wasn't greatest here in denver but it's finally um decent enough to get a nice wash so um once we get a wash we'll do a nice little review show you all the nice features about it Since this car was flooded, it does have a little odor to it. So uh, I, we found this um, product called Freegy Fresh that if you spray it, it'll actually um, clean out the smell, smell a lot better, um, even though the carpet's been cleaned. So let me show you how this works. Just start the car. And what you wanna do is you wanna turn on the fan, uh, your AC fan to the highest level. So let's put it, put it all the way. There, and then you just, Spray it right there where the where the vent is, underneath the seats. And then also right there, right there. And now, if you want to get inside, smell it. See what, see what that smells like. It smells really good. And then, if you want, you can spray a little bit into the vent. Not too much. Alright guys, so we got the car washed, it's nice and clean. 
So we now we just want to talk about it. Feel how it rides, how smooth it is. I'll tell you all the features about it. So, so far very, very smooth ride. Um, mm -hmm. Very smooth because it has very thick profile tires and the suspension is all original stock. The interior is very, very nice, very sleek, beautiful design. Now, this is not a prestige. This is just a premium, but I'm gonna say it's got awesome features. The steering wheel feels really, really firm. The airbags is very small, compact. Nice buttons right here on the steering wheel. There is on the climate control. It has uh, auto stop. Yes, it has the feature of auto stop. So when you stop on a light, it'll shut off the engine. And right when you release the brake pedal, it'll start up. It's just kind of like a hybrid. This car is a 2.0 turbo, just like mine, 2014. Um, I gotta say though, it, it is a lot quicker. It uh, responds a lot quicker. There's no turbo lag as much as on mine. Wow, that's crazy. Woohoo! So they did a really, really good job cleaning it. This thing was clean inside, outside. There's only a little nick on the front bumper, mm -hmm. uh, a little dent on the uh, driver door, but overall, like, very, very clean. So yeah, we were kind of worried, you know, we never bought a flooded car, so we never know what to expect. We're kind of hoping, hopefully there's no, you know, check engine lights. So far, it's been great. Uh, we've been uh, driving it for maybe like about 100 miles and no issues at all. It's been a very nice, it's a fun car too. The retail price on one of those is around, uh, so I can see 32,000 for 23,000 miles. It's open title, yep. Kind of like this, but how many miles is this? 19, right? This one has 19,000. 19,000. So it's around 50, 60 percent of Queen title price. Yep. It's so, a pretty good deal. Yeah, not a bad deal. Um, if you're willing to take the risk, now again, you know, buying on car, buying cars on eBay that are seller's title could be a risk. You never know where you're gonna get. Um, well, again, we were willing to take that risk. This is our third time buying a car on eBay. My dad. Uh, bought a car back in 2001. He bought a 1999 uh, Lexus RX 300. Um, he bought that on eBay. He went to California, flew in there, and drove it home. And it's a good car. Uh, same with mine. Got that one in 2014, and now 2019, my little brother got this one. So we've been pretty good so far. So knock on wood. We did a little test drive, a little drag race. So this A4 beat the B8 A4 2014, mm -hmm. 2014, yeah, and it beat my Jetta GLI 2013. Alright guys, so we've been driving this car for a little bit. It's been driving really good, no issues whatsoever. But now I did schedule an appointment to the Audi dealership just to do uh, their inspection. It's called the multi-point inspection. They're gonna inspect it, make sure everything's you know up to date. Uh, they're gonna also do a recall that needs to be done. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what they say. Uh, hoping for the best. So the Audi mechanic found absolutely zero issues with the car. They lifted the car, looked underneath, didn't see any undercarriage damage, no rust. The inside was uh, also good, no issues there. Mechanically, the engine ran fine. In our personal experience, we recommend buying cars on eBay. Um, of course, if you're willing to take the risk and uh, save some money. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe, give us a like, leave a comment. Let us know what kind of experiences you had buying anything on eBay and how you feel about buying a car on eBay. Please share and thank you for watching. Let's go to Best Buy. Yeah, let's go. What's the fastest way to get there? Do you know? Um, just look I'm it not up. sure. Let me look it up. Oh, what? There's no navigation? What is this? Whatever. All right, fine. I guess we'll just do Google Maps. Yeah. Best Buy. That's one thing that kind of sucks about it. Best Buy. I'll do the one in Westminster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's Start. go there. Okay. All right, well. There's that. Okay, now turn that off. That thing's pretty useless. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's good. Just gonna make a little straight. Okay, so, it's that way. No, yeah. seriously, I can't believe it's they in, have it's a right. screen with no navigation. What is that? Thank God for these suction cups. Make sure to tag these suction cups. These things are like your lifesavers. So you don't even need a navy. And look how close it is to your face. Like you don't have to look deep into it. Yeah, it's and like, right like you can like rotate this. Yeah, it's like 360 view. Let's just see uh, how well, it handles if I kind of gun it. If it stays on there. You do have warranty on this book, puppy, do you? Yeah, I have Apple Care. Okay, good. Close this window. This thing is great. Oh, we're going to Best Buy. We know where we're going. 